Hey Sure Callers and Certified Installers, Adam Dutcher here again. I'm the Solution Design Specialist here at SureCall and today we're going to be talking about the site survey. What do you need in order to be able to conduct a proper site survey? How does it help you with the design process? So there are a couple of different things that you're going to need in order to be able to conduct a proper site survey. The first thing is going to be a copy of the commercial installation questionnaire that SureCall provides on our website at www.surecall.com. You can also email design at surecall.com and we can also send you a copy so that you can go ahead and print it out and take it with you. For a lot of us, this isn't necessarily a primary business focus as far as installing signal boosters, so it's really nice to have a couple of these forms on your truck when you're in the building for other jobs, maybe doing alarm systems, maybe doing Wi-Fi, uh, running cable for telecommunications. It's nice to have this so that you can go ahead and get all of the information right away instead of needing to schedule another time to go back to that same location and get all of the uh, signal readings, all of the dimensions, all of that kind of stuff. Another thing that you're going to need is a signal meter. Now for some of your smaller jobs, your residential jobs, those kinds of things, it's okay to use your cell phone to get an idea of what kind of signal you're working with outside. But if you're looking to conduct a proper and complete site survey, you really do need to make sure that you either have a spectrum analyzer or a wideband carrier neutral signal meter. And we do have those available over at surecall.com, so make sure you go check it out. Uh, the signal meter is really going to help you in a couple of different ways. Number one, if you're going with your cell phone, your cell phone only supports one carrier and signal boosters support multiple carriers. And also the carrier that your customer is using may not necessarily match with the one that you're using to uh, actually do the signal readings with the phone. So you really want to make sure that you've got a signal meter that does multiple different carriers so you can really get an idea of what kind of signal strength you have to begin with. Uh, so just to kind of give you an idea we're looking for a signal strength anywhere between about a negative 95 dB and a negative 45 dB. So if it's worse than negative 95, that's not really enough signal for us to be able to work with as far as the boosters are concerned. If it's over a negative 45, that's too strong and the booster will think that it's too close to the outside cellular tower and it will actually begin to shut down or going into, into an overpowering mode. Okay. Along with getting your signal strength readings outside of the building, you really want to make sure that you get them inside the building as well. You want to make sure you identify either on the floor plans or on your site survey where the trouble spots are inside that building. Because that's what essentially what sure call boosters do, is they fix dead spots. So you have to know where those dead spots are in order to be able to fix them. So make sure you identify those dead spots take the signal readings, and that way, after you're done with your job, you can go ahead and go back to your customer and say, hey, this is what I had in this area before, this is what I've got now, and your customer is gonna be able to see that the booster is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. Another thing that you're going to need to do is make sure you fill out the site survey completely. And I say this with as much emphasis as I can because you really want to make sure that you get the approximate dimensions on there. You want to make sure you get the carriers that are needed from your customer. You really want to make sure that you get um, the signal strength that is available out there. You want to make sure that you find out if your customer needs plenum cable. Um, all those kinds of things need to be indicated on the site survey. You don't want to have to go back to the customer uh, you know, weeks later and say, oh yeah, we forgot to get this information. Make sure you get the dimensions, make sure you get accurate signal readings, make sure that you find out how many people are going to be expected on the phone at the same time. Uh, those are all very important things that you're going to need on that site survey. Once you have all that information, it can sometimes be a little bit challenging to get the design taken care of, but we at SureCall actually offer a free to use uh, design configuration assistance program for applications that are typically over 10,000 square feet. So once you have all that information, once you have the floor plan, go ahead and send that to design at SureCall and we can go ahead and get a design ready for you so you can go ahead and take that information back to your customer and go ahead and get that signal booster installed. Also another way that SureCall really wants to make sure that you're ready and prepared for this installation um, is that we actually offer free certified installer program uh, classes every single week. So Tuesdays, Wednesdays, uh, they're available, they're free like I had said. Uh, make sure you go to surecall.com, fill out the certified installer application, and we'll get you set up with one of those classes. 
So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to visit our website at surecall.com. Uh, get in touch with uh, either me or any of our sales staff. We'll be happy to help you out. Um, and we really look forward to seeing you in class. Have a great rest of the day.